Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Pedro Place, and this a new series for us. We're going to be looking at city uh, skylines, and uh, in particular, uh, I want to start on a, a little bit of a project. Uh, I'm going to be looking at creating a city. Uh, it's going to really utilise roundabouts. I'm going to call it the roundabout city. Now, in the UK, there is a city um, that is a, a relatively new city that, that has literally got more roundabouts than I've ever seen in my life, and that is uh, called Milton Keynes. Uh, so I'm going to name uh, our city uh, Milton Keynes uh, 2.0, and I'm going to look to use uh, a roundabout at every opportunity, perhaps every uh, single uh, junction. So keep watching uh, to see how we get on. Okay, so the map I've chosen to start with is called uh, Islands. I think it's in the, the base game. I don't think it's one I've downloaded. Um, really good um, map, I believe, and you know it does give us quite a few different areas that we can build on. And you can obviously put bridges across, and it's going to give us a little bit of a, a challenge, which is going to be good. Um, I really like this island. You've got you know a few sort of things like pillboxes here that are just included as standard. Uh, we can maybe turn this into a nice sort of harbour area perhaps um, a little bit later on in the game. Um, just to explain a little bit about City Skylines uh, and my particular version of it. Uh, so I've got the majority of the uh, DLC pack. So I've got the uh, snowfall, uh, obviously this isn't a snow map, um, I've got that one, I've got natural disasters which is the most recent one at, at present and uh, I've also got after dark as well, um, so obviously snowfall brings about temperatures and then natural disasters, you know we may get the odd natural disaster happening and um, that is set to random at the moment um, so we may uh, see that in the future. Now I haven't actually played with snowfall or natural disasters um, they're both new that I've got recently, um, so I look forward to, to seeing those in, in this uh, this series and seeing what, what sort of happens with those. Um, but yeah, the main aim of the game is to, you know, roundabouts or, or circles as they're known just in, in other parts of the world, um, are well known, you know, in sort of city management and traffic games uh, have been a fantastic way of really um, controlling the flow of traffic and stopping you know, build up of cars, uh, T junctions, and sort of the, what you'd normally get on the grid layouts. Now, obviously, a little bit later on in the game, as we build our city up, we're going to see some big traffic problems. And I've played many cities, and uh, you know, had traffic problems. Um, and I thought, do you know what? You know, roundabouts have solved a lot of those traffic problems. So, can we see if we can build a city where you know? virtually every junction is a roundabout so that's my mission uh, in this no idea how it's going to turn out not not tried this before um, but there's only one way to find out right uh, so I'm going to speed up the gameplay a little bit and I'm going to make a start just putting down some residential areas to get some few citizens moving in um, I'm obviously just probably going to just keep it into this area to start off with it's relatively flat and uh, obviously we've got our main connection coming in here rather than you know, build off on one or the other uh, sort of areas I'm just going to keep it at this one to start off with um, so keep watching I'm going to put some music on so you can enjoy that and um, yeah we'll I'll join you back shortly soon so I've got the city set up
Okay, so there we go. That's the outline of our city um, all laid out to, to start off with. Um, as you can see, I tried as much as I could to try and incorporate uh, roundabouts. So we've got a main roundabout coming in here. It's going to be a main intersection. Obviously, we'll have a few more roads coming off here so we can expand, in, uh, ex sorry, expand into this part um, of the island as well. Um, but, you know, I wanted to make a nice big roundabout there so that traffic, uh, you know, hopefully uh, didn't build up. And as you can see, there's not really many traffic lights on there to slow uh, traffic uh, at all. So that should be should be pretty good. And obviously each section coming off this leads into another roundabout as well. So hopefully uh, that will help the flow of traffic. Got two main residential areas uh, mixed in with a little bit of um, commercial as well. Um, leading off these two roundabouts so you've got an area here and then a slightly bigger area uh, actually it's leading off two roundabouts here so you've got nice little curvy roundabouts something a little bit different and then you've got this roundabout here the main purpose of having this roundabout was so that we could link over here to uh, what's going to be our sort of industrial garbage collection um, because then you know obviously it's going to pollute a little bit of this water here probably but this is the flow going out of the city um, and we've got a water point here so it's, it's well away from from that to be able to you know to make sure that our city doesn't get polluted and our citizens stay uh, nice and healthy um, now you may have noticed this is probably why I'm getting so many pop-ups at the minute as well um, I did unlock uh, all of the roads um, and you know all the buildings right from the start which did give me a nice cash boost actually to, <laughs> to make sure that you know I was able to get the city up and running a little bit quicker normally you don't do that but See, as we're doing, dealing with roundabouts, um, you know, rather than rebuild and everything, I thought it'd be quite handy to be able to uh, start off with some of the bigger roads and some of the custom uh, stuff from the steam workshop sort of straight away. Uh, so that's why that's why I did that. So it has got us uh, sort of up and running nice and quickly. See, cash flow is um, oh, whoops. Uh, cash flow is is down quite a bit at the moment. Um, I've obviously got a little bit of a balance that's going to eat into it to start off with, but obviously I do anticipate that that should um, sort of settle down normalize itself once people move in obviously got quite a few bits of uh, infrastructure um, that you wouldn't normally have early on in the game uh, so that's why it's cash flow is a little bit a little bit low um, but people are moving in and uh, yeah we can see that this is going to be you know I'm looking forward to it. it's going to be a great great city now one of the things that I do want to do in each of the episodes is um, I want to have a little bit of fun really I mean we've got these different districts um, that if you're familiar with city skylines you can basically create a district and you can um, set up uh, policies for that individual district now uh, I want to actually reward some of you guys that do subscribe to the channel and do comment regularly um, by naming some of the districts uh, after you um, so the first one uh, I'm actually gonna do here you know I think this is gonna be our sort of main uh, residential area so let's paint this this district um, oops. There we go. so our main residential area to start off with really there we go let's just get rid of this a little bit let's come around over here now this district is going to be named after um, someone that's followed this channel really right from the start actually which is pretty much uh, all of the the videos that, that i put up uh, and obviously i'll return the favor as well really enjoy his channel so, so do make sure that you uh, you check it out um and his channel is called all about status or status as we would say as you know i'm all about that status um, it's all about stat status um oh whoops that didn't happen. and uh you know this guy's a really great guy uh, based down in Australia does a lot of um, sort of flight simulator um, style games and really really enjoy it. he's got some great stuff on there he also sort of pilots drones and you know really into into all that as well myself and would like to get involved in that uh, but being a real great supporter of the the channel right from the, the start um, so I'd like to give him a little bit of a shout out so make sure you do um, check out his channel I'll leave a link in the description below um, linking directly back to his channel but make sure you do do sort of check him out have a little look um, so that's going to be the first district so if you would like to be uh, named in a future episode 
episode perhaps you want to give you know a little bit of a shout out to your own channel um, and do drop some comments um, in the comments section below and if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already obviously make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can keep uh, an eye on how we get on with uh, Milton Keynes 2.0 and obviously follow the videos for any future series as well so thank you very much for watching guys take care